Hey, what is up, Buttercups? It is Amy. It is Thursday morning, and we have Yay. with us. Say hi. hi. Yeah. So we're all dressed and ready to go for school and work today. Back to the grind again. I have to apologize. Yesterday's video was very depressing, I understand. But, you know what, there was just so much going on yesterday, and I just need to get out there what I need to get out there. And, you know, like I said, even if there is one person out there that can relate and has any good suggestions or anything, that would be great. Um, you know, we're still, like, nothing has changed since last night as far as, you know, with the refills and all that just yet. Um, I have case managers working on it and everything else, and, yeah, so... I, I I don't play when it comes to this kind of stuff because when it comes to my son's health, that that that's the world to me. So, you know, hopefully he'll uh, get his script before the weekend. That's my main concern because I don't want to have to go through the weekend with no meds and then have to send him to school with no meds. And, yeah, that's going to be an ugly, ugly, ugly situation. Um, right now, Jay. Right now, come here, buddy. Jay seems to be a very happy camper. Are you happy today? Yeah. Yeah. You look a lot happier. <laughs> Yesterday he was a mess too because I think he was just having a really off day and that just kind of added salt to the already present wounds. And, uh, but yeah, so I'm just, you know, thank you DJ Wilkins. Appreciate the, uh, the, the input. Yeah. It, the refill thing. I'm us I'm always on top of that. And if I had known ahead of time, this woman was going to, the doctor was going to call out, believe me, I would have probably called last week to make sure the prescription was in already, you know, but I, it, it's just, it just still baffles me that <laughs> the uh, medical professionals out there have gotten this bad, you know, it just, I, when I was growing up, I don't ever remember medical professionals acting like this, ever, like, even when I was in my teens and early 20s, and yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's craziness. But anyway, off that subject. So we are going to have a lively day today. Mr. Mann's got school. I've got work. And Mr. Matthew, Jared's worker's coming tonight to spend some time with him, help him out with some homework. And, um, yeah. So, it's going to be somewhat adventurous day. i got to stop at this store again. I'm so tired of going to the store. Yeah. So, I'm always at the store for some reason. Well, yeah, it is going to be a chilly, chilly morning. Right now, it is like 44 degrees out. <laughs> it's going to be a chilly day out. And here's Amy with short sleeves on. Go figure. So, that's okay. Hopefully, my hoodie will keep me warm today. So, we'll see how that goes. Alrighty, so we're out here. We're waiting for our bus. Come here, Bubby. Come here. Here, bend down. So what be the rules? Painting for the cast of course it's not a fun. And we use our Word. not our hands. And there's no and no and no and we're gonna add one more. Do not take your hat off, okay? Can you imagine that? Keep past the no. Say keep your hat on. Keep past the no. Keep keep your your hat, hat on. Very good. Yeah, apparently yesterday, um, he had just a little brief incident on the bus where he needed to bang his head for some reason. And this little stinker, in case, instead of just doing it with the hat on, which is what the hat thing was made for, uh, he decided to take the hat off and do it. <laughs> so, we're going to have to add the don't take the hat off. You know, keep your hat on type of thing. So, it's always something. We're going to add like a paragraph, I think, by the time we're done school. I just... <laughs> oh, God. You get to the point in delirium when you just can do nothing but just laugh about it. Nothing else you could do. You know, it is what it is. So, uh, just going to wait for J-Dog's bus. And then get this day started. I love you. you be good <coughs> I heard he had an incident last yesterday. Yeah. What happened? He just decided to. Yeah, and it was the worst ever. Get out! Yeah, really? Yeah, he took it off. He took it 
strong through right down around and then he started with the head. Like like his like the snow hat that he puts on. Yeah, yeah. You know how like when he gets mad, like comes right Yo, off. Yeah. Right down the aisle, so that's what this did and then he started with the swing of the head and doing all the same stuff he normally does. Yeah, but so it was he went on longer and then he was going like this with the back of his head. That's what they can hear, they say the back of the head is so sensitive. Like, yeah. Well, the neurologist said that there is some kind of anomaly going on in the lower southern hemisphere of his brain. So, we don't, it may be something related to that. Right. Yeah, I know. Yesterday's med check was supposed to happen. The doctor called it out like an hour and a half, two hours before his appointment. Right, yeah. And they don't have another appointment for us till November 29th. Oh, right. Yeah, so, yeah, we're going to be dealing with this till maybe November that, 29th now. Yeah, it's like maybe craziness. That, maybe that has something to do with that. Yeah, yeah, either that or the meds or have to be regulated more. I don't know. I have yeah. no idea. And, but. Uh, the one kid behind me started freaking out. He's like, he's going to crack his head open. I'm like, Aww. everybody, yeah, I said, Was it Gage? Was no, it was um Chris. Oh. Um, okay, okay. But he's like very like nervous, like he gets like that. And he and gets wired. I'm sure that definitely so, would trigger. Yeah. So yeah. I just had to explain to him that like everybody's aware, and you know something happens, everybody knows what's going on. Okay. I feel bad. I, I well, you know, hopefully we'll, I told him. I said it's new regime. I said make sure we say it. Everyone can keep your hat on. So. Yeah. Let's just hope it gets better and better. That's all we can hope for at this point. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I think you know what it is when it just starts getting like like over six like I think it just like every month. Like, it gets antsy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, and it could take like one little tiny thing that could trigger it and we will never know yeah. what that trigger is half the time. Exactly. Just it's so frustrating, you know. Exactly. Considering the helmet's still kind of new, we haven't gotten really a full week out of it yet, right, so of yeah. you know, yeah. hopefully. At least it's improving. Let's, yeah. I guess well, that's the uh, right, 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 right. right. So, yeah, so. But that was understand. It was a change, so yeah. 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 Are you better going? Uh, yeah. <laughs> See you. Thanks. <laughs> Bye, sexy. <laughs> oh, poor little guy. I don't know what to do for him. He gets so stressed, and I mean, seriously, like it could be something, oof, as minor as like a bump in the road that, like, he gets frustrated about. So I don't know. All right, let's get this day started. Hello and good evening. What's up, Buttercups? It's Amy. Uh, Thursday evening, relaxing. It's been another long day. Not not as trifling as yesterday was, but you know, little man's still having some issues. Um, I don't know what the problem is, but the last couple nights he has just been very, very off the hook, and I've been really wanting to get it on camera, but. <clears throat> there's like just, I don't know, in my own mind kind of a thing, I kind of feel as though there's like a drawing line in, of invasion of privacy kind of a thing. Um, I want to be able to document his meltdowns and stuff like that, but recently a lot of the meltdowns are including the words mama, daddy, daddy, mama, and I don't know how much of that I'd really want to get on camera. Um... But, yeah, and it just, 
I feel bad for the kid. I, I truly do because we're, we're still kind of in the dark with everything. And, you know, and I keep telling them, you know, I, mommy doesn't know what's going on with daddy or my mom and whatnot. And, you know, it's hard to kind of explain that to him, but it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, but we've been really on a lot of emotional roller coaster, especially over the last week or so for some reason. He's just been very, very off. Um, the medications, I don't even know if there's any any reason for it one way or another. You know, I don't know if the medications are working or not working or if they're just not the right ones or... I don't know at this point. I'm just like kind of in a lull right now. I mean, my case manager brought that up yesterday when I was talking to her on the phone. And she had said, you know, it's a very good possibility these medicines that he's on may not even be medications he needs to be on. Because it's very possible that, you know, with all this other stuff going on with the neurologist and the lesions and whatever anomalies have been going on and stuff. She said it might be something physical that needs to be addressed and... So, yeah. So, our next appointment with the neurologist is Halloween. Halloween morning. So, uh, we'll be able to kind of go and hopefully get some more answers and maybe get some more suggestions and find out some more information and maybe kind of hopefully go from there. I know they're going to want to schedule another EEG. Um, that, and again, is going to be another one he's going to get knocked out for because they need to do a longer version of it. Um, so we're going to see how that works out. Um, other than that, you know, tonight's been really kind of off for him. He's done nothing but yelling and screaming and, and crying off and on. And, you know, I, I feel bad for him, but then it gets to the point where I get so stressed out and aggravated and I just don't know what to do with him. And I'm like, I find myself yelling at him and I don't want to do that and, because the more I get aggravated with him is the more he gets stressed out. And it just, it comes a vicious circle. And it's like, I, I the only thing I know what to do is to kind of like just, you know, just try to separate myself from him. I end up letting him do his thing in the living room and then I'll go in my bedroom or something. And it seems the only thing that kind of diffuses him a little bit. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, so I'm hoping this neurologist will have actually something useful for us on uh, Tuesday. And we'll see what heads on from there. Um, till then, we're still kind of in the hole on our medication. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a thing where, I don't know if it's... Why is he coughing? <laughs> he was so quiet and all of a sudden he started coughing. Um, yeah, I don't know if, it, if there is even anything that they're going to be able to say or do that's going to improve this situation, honestly. I just hate to see him this upset all the time. And it's like almost every single night we go through this range of emotions where it starts with crying and whining. And then we start hitting ourselves and pinching ourselves and scratching ourselves and... You know, like tonight, I mean, he's got these scratches all over the back of his neck, his cheeks. He's, he like sits there and does like these things and he pinches his cheeks and he digs his nails into his face. And I just, I, I don't know what else to do. I really don't know what to do for him. I, I want to be able to, to help him, comfort him. And there just seems like to be nothing to, that, that helps. So at this point. All I can do is vlog about it and just pray that it's going to get better. That's all I can do. Um, so I think we'll end the vlog for the evening and going to take a load off. Go watch my Grey's Anatomy. That's my other awesome show I love to watch. So, um, yeah. Also, hopefully you can like and subscribe and all that great stuff and share and all that great stuff. And I will see you soon. Good morning, and what is up, Buttercups? It is Amy and Jerry, and we are coming to you live on a Friday morning, and I gotta say, you know, it's funny, I don't like a lot of the big tubers normally, but 
I'll tell you, Mark Doner, Fireman, that new damn song you got out it is stuck in my head. I cannot get this song out. My son and I have been sitting here and jamming to it for like a while it's now, and we keep replaying it over and over again. Hey. It's just, it's really a dope song. I really like it. It's called Does Your Mother Know? You like this song, Jay? Yeah. Yeah. It's good, huh? Yeah, my son really likes it too. He's sitting there jamming to it. Jamming? <laughs> He's so funny. He loves, loves his music. That's for sure. He knows good taste of music. So, yeah, so we've been watching this in the morning. Get ourselves all like perked up and everything and get our day started. And going to have a good day today, right? We have a good day today, right? Yeah. All right. It sounds good. If we can have a good day, it's a good start to the weekend. Hey, you know your mom. I mean, I, I got that song in my head now. I'm not going to be able to get rid of it the whole day. <laughs> it is. It's such a Jamie's tune. I love it. Anywho, say hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. And what be the rules? And we use our... Word. Not our... Hair. And there's no... Great hair. And no... Hitching. And no... Then a hair. And you keep... Your hat on. Hat on. Hat on. Very, very, very good. I like you. Mm. That's my little man. You want to hand me that rag right there, honey? Thank you. Yeah, it's a ice scraper kind of morning, that's for sure. It's a little chilly side out here, needless to say. Ugh, look at this. Ugh, crazy. My defrosters work, kind of. Uh, <laughs> but... It only works when I hold the button in, which is kind of ridiculous, but. Here, bud, do me a favor. Can you wipe the window for me? Wipe that window. There we go. Good job, bud. Very, very good. Thank you. Good, good job. He's such a help to me. I got him clean my mirror. Look, that's a pretty cool video effect, huh? Hey. <laughs> I am in a very weird mood today. I think it's that end of the week after being so stressed out all week long. We deserve a nice relaxing weekend. Uh, tomorrow, I'm hoping to have a really fun vlog for you. Because you're going to see my complete and utter ineptness to doing anything do-it-yourself. My beautiful aunt is coming over tomorrow. And we are going to be putting mini blinds up. That is the plan. Um... <laughs> I'm hoping she'll remember to bring the uh, drill up because I need to be able to drill the screws up into the wood. So, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens. And here comes little man's bus. And him's itching an ear. He's always got itchy ears. So, alright, let me get him on the bus. Hey, there's your coming out. Hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, like I said, that song's gonna be stuck in my head all day. But that's okay, it's a good song. Anywho, Jared is on the bus and he is rocking and raring to go. Mom's heading out and get to work. I gotta go and get my cafe and uh, get this day started. Hey, what is up, Buttercups? It is Amy and Jimmy. And we are coming to you live on a Saturday morning. We're trying to get this morning started. Mwah. My little love bug. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice day today, but tomorrow is supposed to be rain, rain, rain. So, today we are finally getting into our infamous linen closet. The closet I've been saying I was going to clean out for like a month now. Finally getting around to it, right? Right. Right. There's a lot of garbage, let me tell you. Let's go show them how much stuff is in this closet that we clack out. Let's cool. Let's cool. Let's see. Yeah. All right, so yeah, we got to this infamous closet. Look how beautiful it looks. It's getting there. Still have a little bit left to do. This is all the garbage that was in my closet so far, and I still haven't finished the bottom two shelves yet. So we are slowly getting cleaned up. We are slowly getting organized. And I think if Mama has the motivation, I might even try working on 
the wall today. The wall with the curtain rods hanging down like ghetto. With the thumbtacks and all that stuff. Yeah, Aunt Kimmy's supposed to be coming over today. I don't know. I haven't heard from her. So, yeah, that we're going to hopefully get that fixed. That's the hope and dream after I'm done doing this. But also, I found out today that our area is having a drug policy return, which all your old medications and crap like that, um, like a lot of the local pharmacies will have a thing maybe two, three times a year or so, you know, just to clean up, uh, clean up medications because you're not supposed to be flushing them down the toilet. Gets into the sewer and the water system and everything else and blah, blah, blah. Um, and in Philadelphia, in particular, the Schuylkill River, I think it's on an annual basis they end up, uh, they end up testing the water and they have found a gigantic amount of all kinds of antidepressants and like chemical drugs, all kinds of all kinds and yeah. And that's for people flushing their medications down the toilet. So we are not going to be contributing to that. We are just going to continue to clean all this mess up. That looks very nice, though. It's nice and stacked up and everything. Got all our medical supplies up there. Jared's inhaler stuff. My diabetic stuff. I'm not diabetic. But, like, <laughs> I, it, my doctor is like a wacko, and she's convinced I'm diabetic, even though I'm, like, never run high sugars. I don't get it. So, uh... <laughs> She actually got me a blood machine to test my sugar. So I do. I test my sugar at least once a day, just to be sure. And I don't think I've had a sugar above 120. And that's like actually just at the average. That's nowhere near borderline or anything else. So I don't know. But got to do what the doctor tells me to do. So, yeah, so we're just slowly getting organized. I am determined to get some of this crap cleaned out and get it straightened out. And little man's in here, stimming away. Jay, what are we doing today? You know what we forgot to do? Feed your fish. Those fishies are probably hungry. At least the last two that are left. All right, so little man's going to feed his fish. And this hungry little fish. Yes, thank you. Good job. Yeah, these poor little guys, we gotta keep up with these guys, so. Fish tank still looks nice, though. It still, still looks pretty clean, and those are the two remaining fishes that are left. Harry and Charlie, we'll call them. I think that'll be their names, Harry and Charlie. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're slowly but surely getting it together, and slowly but surely getting it together and cleaning, and getting everything straightened up, and Mr. Poofball Man with his hair. I love you. Yeah, so we'll keep it going, and uh, I shall be showing you the final product in a little bit with this closet once it's finished. All right, what's up, Buttercups? It is Amy and Jared again, coming to you live on Saturday, and we are heading out. We are going to pick up prescriptions at the pharmacy, and then we are dropping all the old stuff off over at uh, the actual the local police station, believe it or not. They're the ones doing the collection this year this time so um yeah that's what we're doing now right jay okay. and then afterwards what do you want for lunch what do you want mommy to get you for lunch do you want wendy's or wendy wendy's got a little excited about that one look at those cuts on his face i turned him pinching himself and scratching himself cut easy cut easy all right, so here we go. I'll now just cross our fingers. Hopefully, Jared's prescription is filled in here. That's the hope in the dream. Well, so far, so great. Yeah, it seems like they, I, guess, I think they actually have the prescription ready. Sweet. Good to know. If I, you're, 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 Really, you don't say. <laughs> Jay, want to say hi? Huh. Look, look. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> it's a real conversationalist today. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. 
Well, I need the Abilify soon. I have like a bottle that left at home, but they gave me like a three-day supply. No, I, it was only a three-day emergency supply because the doctor ended up calling out for his med check on Wednesday. ready for him just in case. Okay, so yay, we got all of our medications straightened out. Wonderful. At least that's one feet down. Now we are headed to drop off all the old stuff. Get that out of the house. Well, I feel better about that now. We got rid of all that crap in the closet that we need to get rid of. There was a lot of like old prescriptions in there. I'm talking there was stuff in there from like 2013. I see a couple in there from 2007. I'm like, the golly. So, uh, yeah. I'm glad I got that dropped off. What's cool is they actually do a little mini questionnaire kind of thing. They ask you, like, if you knew that, like, prescription medications, like, you know, narcotics and stuff like that, or exchange among family members and so on and so on and so on. But one thing I did not know, in Bucks County, in the, in the county that I live in, they actually have permanent drop-off locations for old medications. And I'm definitely going to look into that because that way, you know, if I have other scripts that, oh, well, keep building up or whatever, I can toss them, you know, have someone take them. Yeah, so, uh, so far it turned out to be a hit day to day. We got, we got our prescriptions we needed, and then we dropped off the crap that we didn't, and now I promised little man some Wendy's, so we're going to go to Wendy's and get them get him a burger and some fries for lunch and then I'm heading home. Oh my blinds are slowly getting put up. My wonderful Uncle Rick and his beautiful wife and my niece. Yes, I'm filming. You're film worthy. What can I say? <laughs> they are my family. This is the vlog worthy family. <laughs> Honestly, I think it probably would have been funnier me and my aunt trying to do this, but Rick was nice enough to come up and hook a sister up. <laughs> hey, what's up, Buttercups? It is Amy and Jamie. And Jared gets to do an unboxing. We got folding stereo headphones. We got new ones. So, Jared, can you open that box for me, or can do you need help with that? I'll tell you what. Hold, hold the camera just like that. Okay. Don't move it. Just set it. Leave right there. There you go. Oh. Yeah, so we went shopping. Well, when did we get these last week, Jay? Did we get these last week? And, uh, weirdly enough, you know, has some really cool electronics, Kohl's. I don't know why, but I seem to find a lot of really cool <laughs> electronics there. All right. So, here, hold the box up. Hold the box up to the camera. There's the headsets, the box. This is what they look like to be unboxed out of the packaging. Right there. <laughs> there we go. Hey, they're pretty cool too. They're folding. It's a folding headset. So, all right. We're going to put this down. Here, hold that just like that. Good job. And then we demonstrate. Can you unfold them? Jay. Go ahead, unfold your headphones. See if you gotta pull these down. And you try them on. Well, untie them in a minute. Just try them on first. Jay, just 
Just try them on first. All right. So it click into place apparently. That was the clicky sound. Let me say. Yeah. How do you like them? Okay. They look nice on you. He is actually the one that picked the hot pink color. They actually had these on sale over at Kohl's. They were like a percentage off, but they were also a part of the breast cancer awareness thing. So I was like, what the heck? You know, so, and he liked the pink. He had a choice of pink or blue, and he got the pink ones. So, very nice, huh? Yeah, what do you think so far? They fit you good? Yeah. All right. All right, we're going to try these in our iPad. See how that works. Look at this silly kid. Go ahead. Show everybody your iPad. Well, your mini. The mini. The one on the table. Yeah. No. Is it that? Come on, I want you to see if they fit. The plug fits. Here, unplug the green. There you go. Unplug the green one and put the red one in. Unplug this. First, there we go. All right. Here, you want to turn it on and try it out? No. No, he's not in the mood to try it out. But yeah, this is his little tablet. He likes to go on at home. And they look nice with the headset and everything. Very handsome as usual. Jay. Rating one to five. What number? Pick a number. How about four? Four. Four out of five. Four. Five. Four six. out of five. Five. All right. All right. So, yeah, he just finished dinner, as you can you tell. So he doesn't feel like playing right now, so, but that's okay. Maybe we'll get him later. I'm not really sure what we need to come back here for. Oh, he's going to go chill out in his bedroom for a bit. You going to chill in the bedroom? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to go finish my dinner. I made homemade macaroni and cheese, the good kind, with the breading. Yeah, baby. Breadcrumbs on top. That's what I'm talking about. Jared was okay with it as long as it didn't have breadcrumbs. So I did half casserole with half without. So it was a compromise. And I could always add some if I want to eat more without the crumbs. So. You know, you can always add more or put less on it, whatever, float your boat. So, yeah, this is dinner. In the meanwhile, we are going in here to say hello to Mr. Man. It's not that late, you know. You just got finished eating. You really going to lay down? Yeah. You going to relax? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I will let you relax. <sighs> Always nice when it's a nice relaxing night. It's Saturday evening. It's just nice out. It's, I mean, it's going to get a lot chillier and we are expecting some heavy duty rain and stuff coming in. So I don't know how that's going to go over. But ugh, one thing I got to do now before it decides to start raining I want to get this trash out because when it starts raining that's the last thing I'm going to feel like doing is taking trash out alright what's up buttercups it is Amy and Jamie hello coming to you Sunday afternoon ah, it is going to be an ugly day here in Pennsylvania today folks it is going to be a very ugly weather day uh we're getting some Philip weather apparently and rain and possibly some slightly wind later. So right now we are going to run a few errands. I gotta get water and stuff. We gotta go staples and you know, I'm gonna go to Shady Brook. Once we can go to Shady Brook, I can pick up some provisions there. I can make my I can get my milk and whatnot to Shady Brook. Yes, yeah, so I'll be paying a little bit more, but it's very convenient having an account there. <laughs> you know, I do use it when I need to, you know, and this one of those times I'm going to need to use it. So, they know where I work, so. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, so it's going to be an icky rainy day, and we're going to just try to take our time. Well, we're here in front of Staples, and it is pouring out like a you-know-what. We're hopefully waiting for it to slow down a bit, right, Jay? Okay. Yeah. I mean, we have an umbrella, but it's not a sizable umbrella that can cover us both, so we each get half wet. <laughs> Every time you say, uh, we ready to do this, Jay? Because I don't think it's gonna get any lighter at this point. So, let's go run staples. Hey, Jay. Hey, guys. Well, we are at Shady Brook Farm. I am going to. You want to say hello? Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're gonna go in and get some milk and some provisions, and um, I'm kind of crossing my fingers that they may have his donuts done um because i just don't feel like coming back up here at four o'clock they said they'd be ready by four but hopefully yeah maybe i'll get thankful and maybe they'll <laughs> maybe they'll push them through more of me or something so uh yeah we're gonna walk around shady brook for a little bit not nothing's open they closed harvest and they closed the uh field it's like probably a mud pit back there i can only imagine so we're gonna be heading in and get the shop done. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me. It has been a very long afternoon. Yes, I just jumped out of the shower, so I need a good hot shower. And my walking date is gonna be on soon, so I'm gonna be closing my vlog out. Uh, I don't know. This may not be very appropriate or kid friendly. It's much better. A little bit more family friendly in the same name at town. Nobody wants to see all that. Anywho. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's been like one of those days. He, um, my little man, he's still not 100%, I guess you could say. Um, very antsy, pulling his hair, pinching again. I mean, it was just naturally a really kind of ick day for him, I think. Um, yeah, so we're... Finally, he's finally in bed, which he needed to be, because he looked like he was very, very overtired. And, uh, Mama is getting ready to watch her Walking Dead for the evening. Gonna close out the vlog, fully dressed. And, um, well, you guys, I hope you like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff, and I'll catch you later.